Hello friends, this video on solutions part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's understand a new term that is used to denote concentration that is molarity. So what is molarity? Molarity is nothing but number of moles of solute. Let me write here. Number of moles of solute, please note it is solute here, right, that is dissolved in 1 litre of solution, dissolved in 1 litre of solution. So in the denominator we have solute and in the denominator we have solution, correct. So, 1 litre, litre is nothing but something which is used for volume. So, molarity is moles of solute per litre solution denoted by M, capital M. Correct. For example, if I say 0.5 M, that means what? That means 0.5 moles of solute is dissolved in 1 litre of solution. Similarly, if I say, let's suppose 1 m, if I say, let's suppose 1 m of HCl in what? What does it mean? It means 1 mole of HCl is dissolved in 1 litre of And please note that this is a function of temperature. It is function of temperature. Why? Because this volume part, volume part is function of temperature. You increase the temperature, volume also increases. For a given substance, mass is independent of temperature, correct? But volume is dependent on temperature. Since we are using the volume in the formula, it is a function of temperature, correct? So, what is molarity? It is very common used uh, way for concentration. Molarity, capital M, moles of solute per liter of solution. Generally, if I take a solution, most of the solvent we see is liquid, right? For example, water is liquid. My uh, benzene is also used. That is also liquid. So most of the solution or most of the solvent, most of solvent is liquid. Since most of the solvent is liquid, the solution itself is liquid in the chemical reaction, right, in the chemical world. So this is a very useful way for finding concentration. Let's take some examples on molarity to get the concept clear first. The first question is, we have to calculate the molarity of 5 gram NaOH, the sodium hydroxide in 50 ml of solution. So the, this is my solution, total solution. And this is my solute. So I told molarity is what? Nothing but moles of solute here, here in this case my NaOH by volume of solution, volume of solution is given in liter actually, volume of solution is given here but it is in milliliter, we will we'll convert into liter and moles of solute we have to find. So for moles of solid what we have to find? First let me find moles of solute solute that is NaOH. Nothing but mass by molar mass. This formula we have just seen. So what is the mass of sodium hydroxide 5 gram? What is the molar mass of sodium hydroxide? Let's find this. NaOH. So this is sodium is 20 
1 oxygen is 16 hydrogen is 1 that is sorry, 23 sodium is 23 16 1 that is 40 gram per mole so divide this by 40 gram per mole please take care of the units here so gram gram will get cancelled what you get is 0.125 mole that is the moles of NOH. What is the volume of solution? Volume of solution in liters. 450 ml is what? 450 ml is nothing but 450 by 1000 liters. That is nothing but this value only. We will just skip it. So we will just put in this formula. This equation number 1. So if you put the values in equation number 1, moles of solute is nothing but 0.125 moles divided by volume is this thing, nothing but 450 into 1000 liters. Please note the units, this is moles, 0.125 mole, this is liter, 450 by 1000 liter. Correct? When you solve this, you get 0.278 mole per liter or mole per liter I can also say 0.728 capital M that is my molarity of the solution thank you visit examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online tests get free study materials find tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again